My name is Simone Rivecchio. A lot of people call me Sai because it's easier. I started to experience problems uh, when I was around about 22, 23. But you don't quite know that you have a problem until you realize that the spell that takes to recover from the problem becomes longer and longer and longer. From active, from doing sports, to not being able to do much. I couldn't put socks on, basically. I could not stand up for too long. Couldn't sit down for too long. Couldn't cook for too long because I was standing. I couldn't sit down eating too long because that's seating still. And of course, I started my bus driving job five years ago. So you can imagine it's now three years prior to this implant, this operation, where I just had to deal with it. It started off with the injections. I'm guessing it's procedure. Radiofrequency ablation, uh, facet joint injection, uh, until he had to discharge me. I was lucky enough to meet Dr. Meta, and they introduced to me the idea of a stimulator will be put into your body in order to strengthen up the muscles to support movements and so on. I didn't have to think. I said, do to me whatever you need to do. I know that it could not get worse than what it was, and I'm, I'm willing to, to, to take on anything, any challenge, in order to have my fingers crossed so things will change forever. Day of the surgery, you wake up and you get him ready for what could be a new life. Tomorrow could be different. And I had no idea this could be the last day of being unable to do things. And that built up so much in my head, in my body, that I was bursting with excitement. Now, if I'm off work, I will be out on the bike. If not, I'll be walking. If not, I'll be jogging, running, what I can do. Fresh air on your body, I would love to say on your hair, but not everyone is fortunate enough. Because I'm a bus driver and I drive buses almost every day now, it's been really nice. And obviously what I had done, the implants I've got in me today, it's me. It could well change your life. Nothing is guaranteed. And I remember when I came out of hospital, the only thing certain that I had that would drive me forward would be grateful for the opportunity, regardless. And that makes me emotional.